Maddie Shaw and for my IDVA J term project, I decided to write and edit in my novel. My novel is a fantasy novel and I thought that in this video I would just show you some different things that I did. My original goal for J term was to write four new chapters in my novel, but once I officially sat down to do that, I realized that I couldn't because I still needed to work out and edit some stuff in the first chapters. So this is actually my entire novel and I organized it and read through it and then instead of doing the four chapters that I was originally going to do, I actually edited like the first couple chapters. My process for the revision was to print out extra copies of my chapters and then have my mom and my sister um, help kind of go through them with me so that I could get ideas or I could get their input. And so this is actually one of the actual revision pages that we did and the highlighted writing is what they gave me as feedback. And now with that said, I would like to show you a clip that's a sample from one of our writing conferences. Okay, but I just don't. I just didn't want Gillian to walk off. But I don't think Ethel's gonna raise his arm. Oh, and, and, and yeah. What is he doing? Hypnotizing Gillian, or is he? I thought he was like spinning the world in a state. I mean, or he's like rearranging the atoms of the Earth or something, so he can appear in a different place. Yeah, but then he again would have just shown up. He's not that kind of power. <laughs> he speaks to the essence of nature. <laughs> That's true. Her whole thing. Yeah, That's kind of cool though. You gotta fix that. I learned a lot of valuable things while doing J-Term, and one of them was that I easily get distracted. My writing um, workspace was originally my room, but then I had to move my computer to another room in the house so that I wouldn't get as distracted. My original goal was to write four entirely new chapters, but since I changed that to where I was going to edit and write a little bit more in my first chapters, I think that I've gained a lot of insight on where I need to go, what I need to do with my book, and also the backstory of my characters and plot. Fantasy novels usually follow a standard format, so one of the things that I did was read fantasy books so that I could come to understand more about how they were set up by other authors so that I could kind of incorporate that into my novel. Now I would like to leave you with a sample of my novel, The Rune Master. Ethiel's strong voice floated high over the fog-ridden Gretton Moor. His song transfixed all life. Every creature, big or small, paused in the midnight roaming to listen. Do you hear my voice, O Moor? The old man sang, communicating with a soft dip of scale and releasing a sharp cry which harmonized beautifully with the gusts of wind that fanned the plain. Silhouetted in the light of the moon, he reveled as the crickets and toes chorused in reply, the beasts howled in answer, the insects hummed their wings in unison, and the plants bent themselves in his direction. His weary limbs twitched with a joyful feeling. He was so close, so close to finding what he sought, but Ethel knew he must be patient and ask the land first, since it was the land who would know the way. I am searching, he explained, using melodious notes instead of words. If another human had been wandering the marsh like Gretton Moore at the time, they would have frozen and tuned their ears to the fine, lilting sound he made. They'd have felt the slightest beckoning, as if the song he sang was trying to speak to them. But they wouldn't have understood the language Ethiel was conveying. Now that I've read to you the first page of my prologue, I would just like to say that I think G-Term has given me a lot of direction in where I want to go in the remaining um, chapters of my novel. I was able to edit and write in four of my first chapters out of 14 chapters that I've previously written. So I think that it's just been a great overall experience and hopefully it'll give me more motivation.